Franklinton is a neighborhood in downtown Columbus, Ohio, that's located between the Olentangy River and the Scioto River. It was one of the city's first settlements and was prosperous until the rivers flooded the area. The floods deteriorated the area and economy of Franklinton. When FEMA declared Franklinton a floodplain and all construction stopped, the area became one of Columbus's poorest neighborhoods. Bruce Warner has lived in Franklinton his whole life and experienced the area's second flood. He's watched his beloved neighborhood decline into a cycle of poverty. 13 flood pretty much did a job on everything over here. Because it, everything in Franklin was flooded. Uh, some of the water was 18 foot deep and the houses survived for the most part, except where there was uh, current. Now some houses literally floated off their foundation. That did a big job on, on Franklinton. The 1959 flood comes along. Now, many of these people who lived here are more elderly. They can't afford to move and they're not gonna move. This is their home. So p houses deteriorated badly because they couldn't afford them. And then of course, then the senior, older people left. And then the houses became rental properties. And for the most part, a lot of the, I shouldn't say the most part, but many, many, many of these realtors, they were just literally slumlord. They didn't care. 13 flood really, really galvanized Frankleton. And, and, uh, the, and, the, and then the 59 just put the, put the nail in the coffin. It wasn't until 2004 when the flood walls were built and FEMA lifted heavy regulations on construction that Franklinton began to grow again. The social and physical landscape of the neighborhood is changing because of passionate and involved community members like Bruce, initiatives put forth by Mayor Coleman, and organizations like the Franklinton Development Association. One organization that has become a symbol of change in the area is 400 West Rich Street, an artist studio space built in 2011. It has brought a lot of attention from people and businesses into the area. Um, Maureen Elizabeth Clark. Um, I am a acrylic painter, uh, but I really love to do urban landscapes and kind of seek out places that people may walk behind, like walk past um, and to make the normal everyday landscape of a city that's usually really bleak and dark and make it look pretty and beautiful and see how people see that. Franklinton was something that really drew my attention because it was fresh and new and exciting and that's where a lot of the energy was going. Hi, I'm Julia Hamilton. I'm an artist in Columbus, Ohio, and I have uh, three main techniques that I use to make artwork. So my style is sort of a Art Nouveau style. My name is Nico Swarkowski. I'm a fine art painter. I do abstract paintings. And then later after college, I started doing the special effects sculpture work. Um, and that's what this studio is for. Artists like Maureen, Nikos, and Julia are at the center of Franklinton's rapidly changing landscape. Many of these artists at 400 are aware of this changing landscape and their role within it. So I got involved early on in Franklinton. I got this inkling to do a festival that involved skateboarding, uh, graffiti, and music. Well, my idea was just to, to embrace something that was already here and then make uh, something that would kind of draw people to it and draw people that are already involved with it to what we were doing or what we were trying to do. Um, and it worked. I mean, it became the most successful thing that we did at the time. One of the things that it re I really liked was the fact that we have open studio days at least once a month. There's uh, a day where for several hours the whole building is open up, the outer doors are propped open, and the public comes through. And hopefully we sell artwork, you know. But even if I don't sell anything, I enjoy talking to the public and meeting people and, you know, talking about my artwork. 
So we always have something going on and then like the Vanderelli room always has uh, something going on with their gallery. They have some kind of show that's really amazing. Rehab usually has um, a featured artist in there. Everywhere else, uh, Red Herring Productions, they usually have some kind of show going on. There are several artists that live in the community um, and so they, they put back a lot into it. I love the community, I love the vibe. Um, I love being around other creatives. I've definitely produced more and sold a lot more being here. It's just in this environment. I, I think it's absolutely wonderful what's happening in Franklin. You know, we have a gallery district, that's the short north, and that's great. But at Franklinton, that's where the art is being made. That is where the actual artists are. And a lot of the artwork that you'll see over in the short north was made in Franklinton. They're getting to meet the actual artists and, and see where the art, artwork is being created. So it's fun to kind of see it changing in a way. Um, there's concern with it. Uh, Good change is good, uh, you know, like having it, seeing it go in a positive direction as long as it's not too, too much. As long as it's not getting rid of the, the environment that we're in. There's no question about it. It's, it's gonna, this what's really driving the whole thing is, is, is the idea foundry, the artists, it has just blossomed. The Columbus Dispatch recently wrote an article about the future development plans for the Franklinton Arts District. Soon these vacant lots and buildings will be home to apartments and office spaces, shopping areas, and outdoor community centers. But most importantly, there are plans for low-income housing and opportunities for original residents to stay.